My name is Samantha. I live in New Altamont, South East London. I have two children, Shane, who's almost eight, and Daniel, who's four. Shane has special needs. He's severely visually impaired. He has some motor problems which affects his walking and stability, and he has a developmental delay. Good boy, Shane. It is very important to um, my husband and I that Shane lives life to the full. And I feel if I stay positive and focusing on everything Shane can do as opposed to what he can't, that rubs off on him. Shane started attending communion classes in November in preparation for his first Holy Communion in May. In these specialised classes, the children learn what the Eucharist is all about. They are preparing to meet Jesus through First Holy Communion. Who remembers what chapter we're talking about? Oh, seven. Oh, seven. Eight. New life. New life. Excellent. Well done, well done, Excellent. On one occasion, we decided to have a sensory session with the children, which involved planting seeds together. In this way, the children not only learned about growth and new life, but also had the opportunity to experience how Shane learns through touch and smell. Hi, my name is Robert Aitken. I'm a catechist with the children making their first communion here at Christchurch. It's been great having Shane in the class. It's been a very positive experience. It's helped the other children because they've, they've seen a completely different side to how they would go and prepare for first communion. Now, I think if they, they could go anywhere, meet a disabled child and appreciate that child for what he is. At the end of each class, the children take home their golden book and have a chapter to revise at home with their parents. For Shane, we found this was too mainstream, so we adapted. Shane's special book is divided into chapters just like the golden book. Each chapter is displayed in a different way using sensory materials, smell, touch, musical instruments, so Shane can fully experience the message which is described in the Golden Book. My name is Father Anthony Meigs and I'm Parish Priest of Christ Church here in Eltham. Inclusiveness is important because this is the way that Jesus worked and taught and acted. So when people came to him, no matter what their condition, they were welcomed. Shane's number one favourite activity has to be swimming. As soon as Shane arrives at the pool, he knows instantly where he is. He flaps his arms with excitement and almost jumps out of his wheelchair because he can't wait to get into the swimming pool. In the water, Shane feels free. He also becomes more vocal, exploring sounds and his voice more with the echo of the swimming pool. It is also a great opportunity for me to practice his physiotherapy exercises with his full cooperation. After swimming, after all the splashing and kicking, he's a little bit calmer and more relaxed. This is an excellent opportunity to have some quiet time with Shane to go through our special book. Firstly, we always light a candle, say a quiet prayer together, asking God to be with us while we're learning about our First Holy Communion. We then slowly, at Shane's pace, go through each page. He is always focused and enjoys going through the book and having this special time together. Up until now, Shane's signing abilities were limited, so you can imagine our sheer excitement and amazement when spontaneously, when we arrived at the family chapter, he started signing brother. I was so excited, I just had to run downstairs and phone the whole family to share in the good news. Before bed, Daniel says a night prayer. He also says a special prayer for Shane to help him make a good Holy Communion. When it is Shane's turn, he calms down, he becomes quiet and cooperative. He holds his hands with mine and we say our prayers together quietly. When we're finished, Shane puts his hands behind his head and goes off to sleep. 